We're learning more about the deadly shooting in Fargo one week ago. Investigators say 37 year old Mohammed Barakat had been studying mass shootings online. They believe he had set out to kill more people at a street fair that day. North Dakota law enforcement leaders held a press conference with more details and John Morrison listened in. John, what did you learn? Shayla, as we've reported, four Fargo police officers responding to a fender bender crash came under fire from Mohammed Barakat. Three of them were hit, one fatally. Investigators released new information today detailing how Barakat happened upon the crash, possibly on his way to that street fair. Officials say a security camera from a bingo hall shows how Barricott moved his car several times and watched the scene for minutes, possibly waiting for more officers to show up. As three of them walked by his car to look at one of the damaged vehicles, Barricott shot them from just feet away with an automatic long rifle that held 60 rounds. He also shot one of the people involved in the accident before officer Zach Robinson shot and killed Barricott with his service gun. They say Officer Robinson was literally the last line of defense between Barricott and the street fair where thousands of people were expected. And one last time, one final time, showing the restraint that I can't imagine God giving anyone under these circumstances. He says again, drop your gun. He comes out from behind the vehicle. The defendant still has the gun in his hand. He's lying there and the force used by the officer, neutralizes Mohammed Barakat. Investigators reiterated how Barakat had several guns in his car, along with gasoline and a homemade hand grenade. They found even more guns and explosives at his home, but little is known about Barakat. He did not have much of a presence on social media. They did find a number of searches on his computer where he searched for explosive ammunition, mass shooting events, and perhaps the most disturbing, as we've mentioned, local events where hundreds of people would be, including that street fair. Sheila. Our John Lordson reporting. Thank you so much, John. Officer Waleen's funeral is tomorrow in Pequot Lakes High School. The service begins at 1030 in the morning. Fargo police and Minnesota State Troopers will escort him there. If you want to show your support along that route, we do have the details on our website. There's also a public memorial plan next Wednesday in Fargo.